this is Travis Osgood here. So every week I'm going to be vlogging for a segment of Heron TV. Want to put up some competition with Omega Legend. I don't want them taking over Heron TV. Ms. Pearson, how about you take the intro? All right, you're watching Heron TV. That's right. Good morning, Heron. Hey, Isabel. Great to be back on the air with you. Yeah, it's been too long. Yeah, not since we did that Star Trek episode. Star Wars. You still have it learned? I guess I have lots to learn, young Padawan. That's why I like it. <laughs> but I think we have more pressing issues to cover this week. Let's get this showing rolling with the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, Herons. So here we are in the final week of school before spring break. I need a break already. I think us Herons are due for a reward activity. Well, then you are in luck. This Friday we have free time for 15 minutes at the end of the day. Woohoo! We got free time and it's absolutely free? Not so fast, Isabel. You first need to make it to class on time all week long. That's easy. I'm always on time. You are the one of the 99% of students that is almost never tardy. This is a little incentive for everyone to be on time. You know what they say, there ain't no party like a t no tardy party. Ain't no party like a no tardy party. Ain't no party like a no tardy party. So you can be on time this week so that you can take part, of, take part in this on time celebration. I need a little inspiration to make it through the week. Let's move on to one of my favorite segments of HTV, the quote of the week. Take it away, Alina and Alina. Oh, hey, are you reading Anne Frank quote? Actually, yes. Oh, do you want to hear a really good quote? Sure. How wonderful it is that nobody need wait a single moment before starting to improve the world. Anne Frank. Fitting quote, don't you think? Lots of people haven't been inspired lately. Last week, hundreds participated in the, ma the major walkout to honor the 17 victims at the Major Stone Mary Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. And also to raise awareness for student and school safety while allowing kids to express their opinions in a peaceful demonstration. Yep. Why are you out here right now? Like, what are you protesting? Or are you in memoriam of the students well, who lost their lives during the four week shooting? Or? I know that a lot of people out here are out here for a lot of different reasons. Me, personally, I'm out here to remember um, the students that lost their lives in that tragic school shooting. I'm out here today because I think that the senators and the lawmakers need to change the laws about people having guns, and I'm out here to respect the 17 children and teachers that died in the Florida shooting. Um, I'm just kind of remembering all the people that died. All right. And it's really sad. Do you have any oppositions to the current gun laws? Well, I definitely think that more extensive background checks and maybe you could raise the age limit to 21. Um, Honestly, I think it's fine the way it is. It's just, yeah, there's not really much we can change. Because if you can't drink, then why should you be allowed to have a gun? They're both very violent things. Are there any district school policies that you'd like to change? Um, I think that what they should be doing is they should have more safety resources. I also believe that not all the blame rests with gun laws. I also think that um, we could have tried to seek help for people to, you know, who committed these shootings. Having more security out in front of the schoolway to make and to make sure that 
the students are here to learn. They need to, they should like check the people before, like they shouldn't just leave the doors open for anybody to walk in. They should ask them why they're here and what they're doing. Uh, I think our students are amazing. They came to us a couple days ago with this idea. Um, student generated, student planned, created a safe environment for the way it would be conducted, worked with administration. It's a pretty powerful thing to see. Regardless of your perspective on the debate about gun control and school safety, what is important is that students realize that their voices can be heard, even if they are not old enough to vote. But they will be old enough in a few years, and they are old enough to improve their schools in a number of ways. We can improve our school by making new friends at lunch, treating everyone with kindness, and just generally being an upstander. I know our school would be a more pleasant place if everyone practiced as much kindness as possible. Hey, let's change gears and get to the joke of the day. Now it's time for the joke of the day. Dan, I'm feeling kind of down today. Well, I mean, do you want to hear a joke? <gasps> yeah! Okay, sweet. Here's today's joke. So, a weasel walks into a restaurant and the waiter goes, Oh, we've never had a weasel in here. What would you like to drink? And pop goes the weasel. <laughs> It has been so beautiful outside lately. Is spring really here? There's only one way to find out. Have you had a chance to check out the coding club? I've been busy on Tuesdays, but I know who had a chance to stop by. Omega Legend. I guess it's time for another installment of Omega, Omega Legends Club Case. Hello, parents. Welcome back to another episode of Omega Legends Club Case. Today, I'm the creator and coordinator of the coding club, Lu Yang Yan. So, what do you do at the coding club? Well, basically, the coding club, it's just that. I teach coding to kids who want to come. And we use two different softwares as of right now. We use Scratch and we use Unity 3D. Scratch is for a more beginner level and Unity 3D is more advanced. Scratch has a pretty simple drag and drop block interface and Unity 3D uses a real C-sharp scripting, text-based scripting. We meet on Tuesdays from 4.10 to 5.10 and uh, we meet in room 227 or uh, Mr. Oliver's room. Hey, Herons. Okay, so, Herons, if you want to join Mu Yang Yan's Coding Club, go ahead and sign up in the main office every Tuesday, 410 to 510, at room 227, just right here. I want an interview for the jazz band! They do some awesome stuff in the Coding Club. They sure do. I think it's now time for hair and call out drawing. Come see Miss Damon in the main office to claim your prize. Well, it's always a pleasure to host with you, Hannah. The pleasure was mine. I'm Hannah. And I'm Isabel. Have a great day, Herons! Ain't no party like a no-tardy party! party. <laughs> 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 <laughs>